So I recently watched Hyrule Gamer's video on Skull Lake from Tears of the Kingdom. Great video by the way, I'll leave a link to it in the description. However, I felt compelled to delve deeper into their theories and speculations, particularly regarding the flowers within the lake itself. Although the island lacks any significant narrative relevance in both Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, its peculiar shape and the surrounding landscape suggest there may be more to uncover. Interestingly, these same flowers also adorn the vicinity of the Horse God Shrine, as mentioned in the original video. Considering the area's bone-like and skull-like features, it's plausible that rather than being directly tied to the Divine, it symbolizes themes of rebirth, akin to the Water Lily, particularly the Nymphaea, which coincidentally blooms in purple. In Japanese culture, purple often connotes notions of evil or horror, lending a spooky aura to these locales and suggesting a conceptual link to divinity. However, the flower's color and their submerged state down far below the water's surface also evoke associations with demons, or perhaps even Demise himself. Notably, these same flowers are found in the ancient cistern in Skyward Sword, indicating a reoccurring motif within the series. Not to mention, this is the same game where Demise made his debut. Honestly, I feel as though the flowers might be the most important part of this area in terms of symbolism, so he may be onto something with that Demise theory. What do you think?